Right, okay. Um, don't ask me what, it's Tuesday. I know this, 29th of January 2019. Um, the video that follows is a compilation of bits and pieces. I've not really been shooting much video uh, because a lot of what I've been doing is repetitive. It's stuff that you've seen me do. Um, I have to admit I find it boring so I expect you would as well. I've fitted a window, uh, some of you have seen that on Facebook, those of you that follow me there or are friends with me there, uh, follow is, is uh, a silly word. Uh, I've been mixing lime mortar or show uh, which is a wonderful stuff dust gets everywhere the dust seems to penetrate the masks that I've got so it's it's uh, an interesting job boy does it stick it's great it doesn't fall off your trowel when you smear it into the cracks and what have you um, but yeah a lot of what I've been doing not really interesting however I'll put this together just some bits and pieces uh, of, of things that I've seen and done. Um, a little story that I'd like to tell you though. There's a lady uh, who uh, attends church. I now know her name. Um, she seems to be a very delightful lady. I say seems to be, I'm sure she is, but of course when you only partially understand anything that anyone says it's hard to hard to make a definitive judgment <coughs> um, she's very welcoming uh, she rabbits away in very rapid French haven't got a clue what she says most of the time but she was quite insistent that I should go along on a Wednesday to a place where English folk and French folk have a, a bit of a social get together and she did tell me what it was all about but I regret that that just went straight over the top anyway I went along she took me in she introduced me uh, and there were various people drinking coffee and, and socializing and what have you and they convinced me that what I needed to do was to play Scrabble in French I don't know if any of you play Scrabble um, rule number one, never play Scrabble with old ladies. They will beat you. They will think of words that you didn't know existed because they've got the Scrabble dictionary. Well, we were playing away and remember, I don't know very much about this lady at all except she is a good church-going woman and a wizard at Scrabble. There was an English lady, myself, a French lady who's trying to learn English, who keeps telling me I've got to re correct her when she says things wrong, and this lady. And she started with a word that uh, goes. And the, the French lady said, what is that? And she smiled and she said, C'est un mot juif. And I thought, yes, it is. I'm a goy. I know this. Then she used another word um, to get out, to finish a round of Scrabble. She had one letter left, a letter I, and she stuck it next to another letter I. And she said that that is apparently a word for a lava flow. Well, the game progressed. Then the player before her, the other French lady, she announced that there was no more tiles in the, in the bag. I don't know if you play Scrabble, but when you run out of tiles in the bag, the thing then to do is to get rid of everything you've got left. And the lady to my right, she had seven letters left. And she looked and she giggled and she smiled and she spelt a word out on the Scrabble board. 
using all seven letters across the top of another letter and anyway she scored about a million points with it but the other French lady said is that word allowed? The English lady said what does it mean? And my friend said well she didn't actually say very much she started to giggle and the other French lady read it and she and she started to giggle and the pair of them were sat there laughing and we said well what does it mean and she said it is not a very nice word and we decided that all that we need to know is it is a word you do not know you do not use in a church and that is why you should never play Scrabble with old ladies. As I say, they will beat you. Very sociable, very lovely sort of place. Anyway, right. Tea to be drunk, things to be done, video to be compiled. Happy birthday. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Monday, 21st of January 2019. And... I've loaded the car with some bags of rubble to take to the tip. The tip is just the other side of Mezières en Brenne. Uh, it, yeah, it's a good way to start the week, I think. Even better if I get the right gear. There we are. That's the little church that we were in yesterday. Polnay. Not quite sure what the weather's doing today, but I've got lots to get on with, so whatever, uh, we'll we'll get on with it. But yeah, the first job, get rid of this rubbish make a bit of clear floor so that I can work. Well that was a successful raid to the tip. Uh, got rid of some rubbish and picked up a pallet. A useful thing to have in weather like this. This is the town of Mezières. Uh, Mezières en Brenne. There are other towns called Mezières so each of them has a, uh, a suffix to tell you where it is. Shame that place is closed down, isn't it? That, that would be a jolly good place to stop for a stop for a beer, wouldn't it? Right, let's get back, cut some firewood mix some cement and concrete and stuff. Well, I thought I'd better start getting some stuff done. Uh, the job that I want to attack a bit at a time is getting a stud put up in that big open space but before I can do that I really do need to make good this wall and I'm a little bit worried about that oak beam that sits on the top of the wall yeah, I probably ought to wash some preserver into that, don't you think? Probably. I have got some. And then that needs tidying up and then the top of that wall needs bringing up nice and level so that it will take a timber. 
so that I can then run some studs up. Yeah. You want to know what's behind that door, don't you? <laughs> don't we all? Right, let's not fall off the top of the ladder. That will be bad. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing behind the top of that wall. <laughs> the top of behind that door. Uh, that will change in time. But yeah, I think uh, I think making this good is the next job. So I need to round up my tools, get some muck squeezed into that hole, get that sort of dressed up, all the stones locked back in. Before lunch. Oh, good morning to you, good morning. Um, got up this morning and I'm a little disappointed because the weather forecast threatened snow and I was hoping to have some really good winter scenes for you today. Yeah, well it hasn't snowed. I suppose that's a good thing. It hasn't lost the opportunity. Okay, time for tea folks, time for tea, cooked on a wood fire. <laughs> well I've brewed me tea on the wood burning stove of course and I'm about to drink it but I thought I ought to catch up with some reading. You know, you get these magazines delivered and yeah then you don't somehow have time to read them, do you? Oh, yeah, wonderful stuff. Right, tea drinking. I'm going to sit in the warm and do some reading. It's it's um, it's not that cold, but it's too cold to do anything outdoors at the moment. Well, it's time to get some stuff done and to pick up where I left off last night. Oh dear, I need to comb my hair, don't I? No, I don't. Um, yeah, that got that boshed in. It is going to want a bit more filling along the top once I've got that timber in place. That bit all needs sort of finishing. Uh, yeah, something I want to show you. The wiring, which is in the process of coming out, is run in this room in wooden conduits. <laughs> I've never seen anything, well, you know, obviously here I've seen it a lot, I keep looking at it. But that's an interesting thought, isn't it? Wooden conduits. Uh, what it has when you, um, let's come up to this end, it has a cover over it but it's all wooden and you think that can't be can't meet any sort of modern standard because obviously wire does get hot and trust me when you pull that off and stick it in the fire the wood that is it burns very very nicely that will be going well good afternoon it's Saturday um, 26th of January 2019 and here in the town square in La Place Verdun as a Le Ferron we are about to see an event a sad event I suspect the folk with the red hats they are I'll call them firemen, that's not strictly exactly what they are. Les, les pompiers, pompiers sapeurs, so they do rescue work and, and such likes. And you can see that there's some of their senior officers there. And just now, the, the priest, La Père Loic, um, our priest here in Azé Le Ferron, he just came out in. Um, 
white wearing his purple stole and as I'm speaking I'm going to turn this off. Funerals I, I think should be respected differently than making YouTube videos out of them but there's a, a hearse arriving with a casket. Look at that, a skein of cranes. I can't zoom because you know it's enough pointing the camera. Um, I've just shot into Marty's Age just for some bits and pieces and it's a miserable-ish sort of day, you know, it's, it's raining and it's only four degrees. But you sort of look around, you see these wonderful, wonderful birds that you know I never saw when I was in England. And you think, yeah, yeah, life's okay, isn't it? Life's pretty good. Now, as I came down the road, and the camera was where I couldn't really get it, there were some of them were feeding in the fields. I don't know if we're going to be able to see it. See the cranes in the field. I don't know if... Yeah, not sure if you can see that or not, but I can see it. And, yeah, it's just lovely to see. There we are. There's... There's some cranes in that field there. Big birds, aren't they? Too big to go in my oven. And there's some more in that that field on the on the left. Two more, three more. Oh, and a little group of what's that? Another five over a bit further. Magnificent looking beasts, aren't they? 